Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be installing this capture card with your Mac. So it doesn't really matter which Mac you guys have, but this is the new MacBook Air M1. And we're going to install it with this, but it's going to be the exact same instructions whichever Mac you guys have at this point in time. So we're going to get started just with the basics. So what we want to look at in this, out and in, what does this mean? Well, in means that your Xbox or PlayStation, now they have a cable like so, which is an HDMI cable. You're going to plug that in here. So that information goes in. So directly from PlayStation Xbox goes here. Now this one that came with this capture card, we're going to have to plug that in there. And then this end will go onto your monitor or TV. Now this other cable that we have, it's a USB-C, USB-A. This will go in the other end, right beside your microphone and all that stuff. We just have to plug that in there. And this, and only this, will go plugged into your Mac. So if you guys have a MacBook Air like this one, or even a MacBook Pro, you're gonna see that you need an adapter. So this adapter will be plugged into my MacBook Air M1, and then I just have to plug this into here. So just any of these ports, this is a USB-C hub, and you will need these hubs, these adapters, in order for almost anything to work with your Mac, even an external hard drive and USB drives, same deal, you need a hub, and this one's okay, the price is just fine for it. So I would turn on my Mac, so I'm just gonna open it up. And then on the side, you guys will see, you have these USB-C ports. Just plug it in there. There we go. And then from here, this is how it's gonna look like. So this goes directly to your Mac. This will go to my monitor. And I just have to plug in my PlayStation or Xbox HDMI port into here. After we do that, we just have to go on and download a few files. So we're gonna get started with that. All right, so right now we are in your Mac. Now it's pretty sad to say that Cloner Alliance does not have any software that's made for Mac. So what they rely on is this software, which is not made by them once again. Now we do have to go into this website and download the software from there. Again, it's not made by them, but here they give you some instructions of what you should do. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna click on that website. We're gonna go here. We're gonna have to go into Mac OS, this is the latest one, allow, and we're just gonna wait for the software to download, I'm done, and we can just go ahead and install it. So that's the first one here. We're gonna go ahead and install this. Again, it's just like any other software, we just have to drag it, drop it into applications folder, close this up for now, we're gonna close this up as well, and we're gonna go into our applications folder, we just have to look for that, and it's somewhere down here below and here it is obs so we can go click on it click on open by the way if you're having any problems with this just make sure you go to your system preferences and edit your privacy so right now it does tell me to go right here i don't have to edit this i'm just going to unlock this i'm just going to use my fingerprint for now depends which mac you guys have i'm going to allow that for sure I'm gonna leave it as streaming as for optimized for streaming because that's what I need. You guys can change it up to whatever you guys want. You guys could optimize for recording or even just for camera. But in this point, I'm gonna leave it as streaming. Go next, canvas resolution. This is actually okay, 1080 is okay. We can always use display as well. However, 1080 is just fine. And I think you should always go for this first option is just fine next service twitch um again this depends on you guys and what you're gonna use so it could be twitch youtube or anything like so so in this case we're gonna choose youtube because youtube's the best <laughs> and right here we're gonna see this your stream key and that's about it that's all they need so right now going to your youtube channel open up stream and you guys will see that streaming key so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste my streaming key. It's gonna be different for every single one of you. And at this point, this down here is pretty important. Just make sure this kind of makes sense to you. If it doesn't, don't worry about it just yet. We're gonna go into next. And here we go. It's just gonna test it out. That's fine. Frames per second at 30. Well, nothing we can do about it just yet, but we're gonna apply that. 
And from down here, you're going to see this plus sign. So down here, down here, below, you're going to see add, just click on add. And what we have to look for is video capture device. So it's down here below, almost all the way down, video capture device. So usually I would change the title of this video capture device. So I'm just going to change the name to Flint 4K P plus. And we're just going to go ahead to OK. Uh, the preset I do not like, but we're just going to leave it as is for now. We're going to go ahead and select live streaming USB device. That's exactly what we want. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm clicking on. It's my second option. You'd like to access my camera. That's fine. Although I'm not doing that just yet. And here it is. So I did plug it into my PlayStation right now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it could be an Xbox as well and you should be able to see your screen right away. So even before setting this up, if you guys turned on your PlayStation, went to a game such as right now, I'm in Fortnite, so let me just do something in Fortnite, such as this emote, there we go. I should be able to see it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. So at this point in time, I'm pretty much all set up. I can go ahead and start streaming, for example, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. However, I do have to end this video before I start streaming or else it's going to get kind of weird when my viewers are actually watching this. But to start streaming, yes, it's right down here below. You're going to see start streaming. You can go ahead and test it out for yourselves. As far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.